Asa mo na tayo guys? Alden here and welcome to another video on Discover Bye Bye. Kumusta man mo? Kami? Okay kayo. Guys, we're pretty stoked because it's our first time to go to this place. It's called Paniwistuisan Falls located in Barangay Sapa. But before that, we're gonna pick up the rest of the squad. Obay mo no? Tara, let's go! This is our first time to hike towards Paniwistuisan Falls. We didn't have any idea how the trek will go and how long it will take. And then, Mother Nature welcomed us with a heavy downpour and we were not prepared for it. Before you start the actual trek to the waterfalls, you have to coordinate first with the barangay chairman. Captain Rufino Pelliapis Jr. gave us the go signal and provided us with three friendly local tour guides. Elgin, Francis, and Melencio. The guides told us that the trek going to the waterfalls will take around an hour. And yep, it did. It took us exactly one hour to reach the falls. We honestly expected a walk in the park trek but it's the other way around. The terrain is absolutely challenging. Well, for most people, there are very steep areas and you have to climb uphill and go downhill. It's quite exhausting, but as the popular saying goes, the best views comes after the hardest climb. Paniwis Tiwisan Falls is spectacular. It looks small on the photos but it's about 45 feet, dropping a huge volume of cool water that creates a thundering sound cascading through the big rocks that is truly invigorating. We went to a nearby cave for shelter since it was still pouring outside when we reached the falls. In fact, there is also a cave just behind the waterfalls itself. This is about unspoiled nature. The lush, tropical vegetation surrounding the waterfalls is exhilarating. It gave us a wonderful respite from the noise from the city.
Dapat lang. It's a big lap. 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 It's a Barangay Sapa is a far-flung barangay nestled in a mountainous area of the city's east district. To reach the village, you have to travel via the Maharlika Highway or the Baybay Tacloban East Road. It took us around 15 minutes to drive on our car to reach Barangay Makinhas. The barangay is 11 kilometers from the city. From Barangay Makinhas, which is located along the highway, you'll find a junction leading to an interior barangay road. It will take you another 30 minutes to reach Barangay Sapa. The road leading to Barangay Sapa will not be a smooth ride, but the views around you makes the trip worth it. There are still portions that are not concreted, but it's accessible by any types of vehicles. For our final reminder, please leave no trace. Be a responsible tourist. Pack everything back to your bag. Inspect your picnic site or rest areas for trash or spilled foods. Pack out all trash, leftover food, and litter. Always leave a place cleaner than you found it. Thank you so much for watching our Panis Theories and Falls episode. Don't forget to follow Discover by Bye City and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Links on the description. We'll see you on the other side, guys. Peace!